Imagine a computer so powerful, it could break the encryption that protects your bank, your email, even your government, all in seconds. Now, what if I told you this terrifying future is connected to some of the oldest tricks in the hacker playbook? This is the shocking link between quantum computing and classic hacking, and why both could change cybersecurity forever. Let's start simple. Classic hacking think brute force attacks, password cracking, social engineering relies on time, trial and error. Hackers exploit human mistakes or slow systems. It's not flashy, but it works. But what if time wasn't a problem anymore? That's where quantum computing comes in. Unlike regular computers which process one calculation at a time, quantum computers use qubits, quantum bits that can represent multiple states at once. That means they can process millions of possibilities simultaneously, not just faster, hacking, instant cracking. To understand the danger, think about modern encryption, the most of today's online security. Things like HTTPS, banking systems, crypto wallets, relies on something called RSA encryption. It's based on the idea that factoring huge numbers like 600 digit ones is extremely hard and time consuming for classical computers. Even supercomputers would take thousands of years to break it. But quantum computers, with an algorithm called Shor's algorithm, they could potentially break RSA in seconds. Yeah, seconds. Here's where things get weird. Hackers have always used simple tactics to get inside complex systems. Guessing weak passwords, tricking people into clicking links. These are called low-hanging fruit methods. Quantum computers won't make these obsolete. In fact, they might combine with them. Imagine a hacker gets access to an encrypted file, something they stole but can't read yet. They hold on to it, and years later when quantum computing matures, they decrypt it instantly. This is called a store now decrypt later attack, and it's already happening. Governments know this, so do big tech companies. That's why there's a global race right now to develop something called post-quantum cryptography, encryption methods that can survive even quantum attacks. But here's the kicker. Most of our current internet systems, they're still using vulnerable protocols, meaning if quantum computers become practical faster than expected, we could have a massive cybersecurity crisis on our hands. Quantum computers are just a newer, scarier tool for that same mindset. And just like in the early days of the internet, most people have no idea it's coming. Here's another twist. Quantum tech doesn't just break encryption, it can protect it too. Quantum key distribution, or QKD, uses quantum particles to create unbreakable communication channels if someone even tries to intercept the message. The system knows and shuts it down. It's like spy tech. But real so, the race isn't just about who gets quantum computers first. It's about who uses them better. To attack. Or to defend. So what's the shocking link? It's this. Quantum computing may be the most advanced tech ever created. But the way it will be used, it's rooted in the oldest hacking principles we've ever known. The tools may evolve, but the game, it stays the same. If this gave you a new perspective on the future of tech and hacking, hit that like button and subscribe. We're just scratching the surface of how quantum computing could reshape our world. And trust me, you'll want to be ahead of the curve. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay secure.